2020 Desert Twilight Invitational in Phoenix, Arizona, here with Newberry Park Speed Team, Tommy McDonald, winner of the Unattached Club Boys Championship race, looked outstanding, just under 16 minutes for the 5K, Aaron Cantu, also very well, second place overall in that race, about 16.23. First off, you looked way above everybody else. Conditioning going that well? Mm, yeah, I think it went okay. Um, <laughs> doing the race is kind of tough, just there's a different feeling with like the heat and the course and also wearing spikes in the race. With California, we don't usually race in spikes for courses, so it's a little different feeling during the race. Did you have any problem at all finding a tempo? Because really, you looked so smooth during that race. I mean, did you have any problem at all? I mean, it was, a, it was a little difficult, but um, I just like just try to remember and keep my form the whole time. Just to try and keep the rhythm going, uh, even though it's tough in some sections, it was I just try to keep going and just try to keep picking people off as I got as I went. Your squad is such a, so so deep this year. It was deep last year. It's even stronger this year. First off, Aaron, from your vantage point, in a sense, first off, today's race. How'd you feel? You did. What'd you think? Uh, I think I did pretty good. Pretty good for the race. I went out hard. I tried to keep it. It was especially harder during like the. The dirt it was just rock, so the spikes didn't really do that much for me. But I just kept going. I was picking off people, like Tom said. We were just going at it, trying to finish the race, do our best we can. When you guys first heard about this opportunity, you know, I'm sure several weeks ago, you guys pretty excited, I'm assuming, to get get some sort of racing in. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. We were like, we were just surprised that oh, we get a race all the way to Arizona, which is very cool. But then we come here, it's 100 degrees. <laughs> we're like, oh gosh. But yeah, it, it was very exciting. Yeah, all of us were very excited to run over here. It's definitely nice getting back out there and feeling the feeling of, uh, of a race again. Right now, take us in the Newberry camp. Uh, right now, I'm assuming you guys are working out pretty much almost every day, either groups or well, mostly probably in groups. How fit is this team? How competitive are workouts? Or is it not competitive, it's more fitness building? Where are you guys at up here and right here? It's, it's pretty competitive and we're going, even though we don't have races going on, we're going hard. And we're, do, we're looking really good and we're so close together that it's it's competitive every time we're doing a workout and it's you're always looking at each other and basing your runs off of each other and seeing where you're at uh, on the team. In terms of what's possibly next, are there any opportunities you guys are aware of down the road? Or is this basically it for a while possibly? Sean has been looking at what Coach Sean has been looking at some races in different places, but the way I see it right now, this was probably it for a while. But we're still looking to see if there's other races we can go to and race again. So you guys being a very competitive group but with no racing, how difficult is it to stay motivated? Or how easy is it with a strong group around you? What's that like? Well, when we do workouts, we practically sometimes, if we, if we don't have a race or a season this, this time, we'll probably do like, be really competitive during the workouts to where if we do my repeats or whatever we do, we'll like try to like contradict on what like those times we get and like convert it to a regular race. Right. Stuff like that. Okay. All right, once again, finishing one, two in the race today, Desert Twilight Festival. Tom McDonald, Aaron Cantu. Great job today, guys. Thank you.